one thing mm -hmm. that everybody has to do when they're in Elkhart, Indiana. The RV Hall of Fame and Museum. Travco 320. Wow, that's an oldie. Let's go check it out on the inside. They didn't have solar back then. Let's go check it out. Wow, this is cool. Oh, I like how they hung the bunk from the ceiling. Ooh, it smells like an old RV. Nice. 78,000 miles. This is kind of cool. No closet. More storage, vacuum. Oh, it had central vac. Toilet, shower, <laughs> that's pretty cool, a nice bed in the back, the Coleman Mach series, we still have those today, that's pretty cool. The owner banuals. That's pretty neat, honey. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Oh, storage. Now, fridge is over here. Uh -huh. Wow, it looks just like a, reg a modern RV. It's just old. Old, yeah. How about the hill? <laughs> yeah. The elk. It looks like part motorhome. That's cool. That's pretty neat, huh? Since 1972. The John Deere wagon. That's an oldie. Oh, look at this old little thing. It's got four, v four wheels on it. This is cool. Wow. People were short then. <laughs> they must have been, because that thing is short. 1946 kit teardrop. Wow. That's pretty nifty. Welcome to a tour of our model recreation vehicle manufacturing plant. This is a 124th scale model, which means that it depicts a full-size plant that would be approximately 96 feet wide by 360 feet long. While no two RV manufacturing plants are laid out exactly the same, and certainly the RVs themselves have design differences, there are some typical similarities in production. This presentation is designed to give you a general idea of the RV manufacturing process. The travel trailers and fifth wheels in this model are built on an assembly line that is comprised of 16 workstations. Workers are assigned to a specific station and often perform the same job functions for efficiency. When the work is completed at a given station, the workers at that station then advance the trailer sideways on carriages to the next station. Wow, that's cool. Wow. 
a lot of way. Rusty steps. Oh wow, it's all outfitted for the Eagles. That's kind of cool. It's even signed. <laughs> it's got a slide. Not must not be that old. Look. Eagle one. Oh yeah. That's cool. Must have been theirs. Maybe. That guy. Oh maybe. My grandparents used to have a Shasta. Oh yeah. Check it out. Yeah, it looked a lot like this. Oh, was it this color? Oh, yeah. I don't remember what color it was. I found my new place. The wet bath with a window. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, look at the little fridge. Got little cabinets. Yeah. Fridge with a mirror. <laughs> this is cool. I like the dinette. It's yeah, cool. they had a Shasta was a lot like this with these pop out windows like this. Yep, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I think there's this folds into a bed too. Yeah, this is awesome. Check this out. 1913 Earl travel trailer with a Model T Ford. <laughs> Look at the hitch. Hopefully you can see that. That's crazy. Oh, I'd love to have that. That'd be so awesome. Trailer with a screen. What's it look like on the inside? And this thing is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> That's cool. Single axle. Looks like a Model T axle too. What's this one? 1916 telescoping apartment. Oh, it slides inside of itself. That's cool. That is cool. Fifty eight Airstream. Well, it's nice and bright on the inside. Nineteen sixteen cozy camp tent trailer. Literally, it's a tent, and it looks like it folds with hinges, so you can close it all up and tow it. Well, that's clever. You can even sleep out here underneath the, the bed, so it'll sleep at least four. It's got wagon, wagon uh, suspension under it. It's kind of hard to see. 1938 model A Ford house car. Look at this little one. 1958 Airstream. Tiny, tiny. Yeah, I think they'd be heavier made of wood. That's cool though. I like how that one's got a raised roof and a wood stove. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So in our RV Fire and Life Safety presentation we do for Protang, we talk about how fire extinguishers haven't changed in 200 years. And we compare that to where RV started and how advanced they are today and the fact that a fire extinguisher probably isn't the uh, best fire suppression system to have just because the technology hasn't changed but our RVs have gotten, have gotten so much more technologically advanced. So this just proves to you, I mean, where we've come from with RVs, it's pretty incredible. This is 1935. Awesome woodwork though, they're beautiful. Wow. I don't know when plywood was invented, but they use a lot of it in these. They even have a, 
a ceiling vent. This is a pop-up. Not like the pop-up we had when I was a kid, but it's a pop-up. That's pretty cool though. I mean, look at all the space. That had to have been amazing back in the day. Um, especially as small as the, the, the RVs were. Look at this beautiful paint. 35 Comfort. Wow, that's cool. Blue and white, it's nice bright light. I could be in here all day filming these things. 1950 Fleetwood Sportster. Wow. Bunkhouse. It's like the first bunkhouse. <laughs> 54 Holiday Rambler travel trailer. The paint is cool. I like all the retro designs. Little fridge, stove top. A couple bunks, dinette. Wow, that's cool. Some of these have propane lights in them too. I worked on a, an older Avion trailer one time. It had a propane light in it. I'll put a little clip of that in here. So we're in a 28 foot Legrand Avion. Avion. It's a 1973 model and it's got a lantern that <laughs> is propane. Let me turn it on. You light it with a lighter. Have you seen anything like that before? That's crazy. I don't know, it's a fire hazard, but that's what they did in the 70s, I guess. <laughs> that's cool. It's actually pretty cool. I'd never seen it before. 1955 crank up. So it's got a hard top and it's a crank up. That's pretty cool. It looks like, looks like the back end of a car that they cut off and made a trailer out of. You see this bed actually slides out from the back. You put one of the kids back there. That's <laughs> pretty nifty. Got your little kitchen. Oh, you can sleep more than that. Two, four, five at least. Maybe six. That's yeah. Tiny. People were shorter back then, I think. 1954 Yellowstone. Yeah. Got an entry into the bedroom. That's kind of neat. We've got the porthole windows. I like that. Kind of like an airplane at the time. Yeah. Could we live in a little one? Not one this old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'd need too much work. <laughs> now these are beautiful. This is awesome that they preserved these too. Yeah. What's this one? 56 Easy Camper prototype tent trailer. It's made by Loyal Trailer Company in Loyal, Wisconsin. I like the uh, old tiles and the curtain for privacy. <laughs> Ooh, look at this little thing. Look at this little thing. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's a 1957 Scotty. My grandparents had a Scotty trailer too. Yeah, this is cute. What's this one? 57 Cerro Scotty. Oh, a 10 foot teardrop. There's some pictures from the owners. This is pretty nifty. Except all it is is a bed, a little place to put your stuff, a little vent, a little shelf. Let's see here. Oh, fire extinguisher. Yeah, that fire extinguisher, though, isn't from that era, I don't think. <laughs> that looks like one we have. Yeah, it's, yeah it's not from when this uh, trailer was made. It's, yeah, it's just there for display. I was excited because I thought it was going to be an old retro fire extinguisher. Oh, no, I was just going on what you said before, that they haven't changed. Oh, yeah. There's a mallard. I think um, I think we had a mallard at one time too back in the day. I can't remember. They all start to look the same. 62 mallard. 64 coachman cadet. That's in beautiful condition. Ooh, what's this? Pointy nose devil. 1985 Fleetwood Bounder. Wow. This is the final working prototype of the Bounder Motorhome when released in 87, changed the motorhome industry by placing basement storage in a Type A motorhome. Yeah, there's the basement storage. Well, there's LP. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Let's see, can we go in this one? Sure we can. Oh, look at that beautiful gold carpet. Woo! That's hot. How many miles is on this one? 3,400 miles. And a bed in the back. Oh, with a with an exit door. That's neat. Huh, Fleetwood Bounder. Didn't realize they were this old. That's pretty cool. Heck, I'd drive this one. Besides the gold carpet, it's pretty neat. There's another oldie over there. 
And we'll see that on the other side. Oh, there's the basement storage. Ha, cool. A Mustang, 1966 Mustang. Got a full bath. What's this back here? Is this a bunkhouse? Yeah, look at the bunk. Ha, now that would have been awesome as a kid. That's pretty cool. 1962 Apache Chieftain. That's kind of neat. <laughs> cool. That's kind of how the old pop-up we had went together with the bars like that. I vaguely remember as a kid. There's the kitchen box. Huh. Well, everything you need. What you doing? Are you being the mama bear? The mama bear. <laughs> That's funny. Do not enter. This is kind of cool. This is old, old, old. Yeah, look at the water. Look at the water can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's roughing it in a trailer. Ooh, a furnace. Yeah, I went in that one. Go check it out. I'd drive it. It's got two doors. It's a it's a Fleetwood Bounder, honey. From 85. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You love the gold carpet or what? I do. It's snazzy. It's Looks snazzy. Like our house is back in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much got everything that modern RVs have. I mean, as far as you know, comforts of home, it's got pretty much everything. It's got air conditioning back there. It's got air conditioning up here. They call this retro. Yeah, isn't this cool? This was in 85. This is what, so yeah, this is what things look like in 85. I mean, look at this dash. It's only got like 3,500 miles on it. Wow. Look at the visors. Yeah, don't. Oh, don't touch, don't break. They still use the same RV steps. <laughs> Yeah, exactly the same, pretty much. Yeah, they get the same water heater, too, look. This is the first Class A with basement storage, is what it says. Oh, Isn't that I didn't cool? see that part, and it's got two doors, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, Coachman's cool, let's go look at it. 78 Coachman Leprechaun. Wow, this is kind of nice actually. Still traveling that one too. See the old Ford pickup truck made into an RV? 1931 May West house car. Okay, this was made for May West. They talked about this in the, uh, talked about this in the movie, in the theater. It's pretty cool. I like the back patio. That's kind of neat. Like the train, they did it like the train cars back in the day or the caboose that had the patio on the back where you could stand. Oh, here's the Lindbergh travel trailer. 1939 Lindbergh. This was actually Lindbergh's travel trailer. That's pretty cool. Uh, high tech for the day. You got a clock and a amp meter on the wall over there. That's kind of cool. I think the same guy that made the Spruce Goose made that, or not the Spruce Goose, but the uh, Spirit of St. Louis made that. What's this thing? You know? A little more modern. Yeah, is there a sign? No, but this is cool. No, it's a GMC, whatever it is. That's fairly, fairly new, I think. I mean, it's got a little wine fridge. 77 GMC motorhome. Okay, so it's not as new as I thought. Wow. It's pretty neat, it's retro, I mean, modern for the time. Yeah, I think this one's been uh, refurbished. It's pretty though. Oh, that's cute. The whole roof is canvas, that's cool. <laughs> that's cute, huh? A little pop-out bed. It's like a little Barbie house. The Executive Diplomat Edition even got a bra on it let's see who made this one gotcha. uh, executive motorhome mm. Chino California oh, 
Oh movie, wow. Movie man. <laughs> it's tile though. I mean it's it's for the day it was probably one of the nicest things you could buy. It's an executive. I mean there's a TV. Look, it has a backup camera. This is probably the highest top of the line motorhome you can get. What year? 86. 86, oh, yeah. Oh, that's it's awesome. A mobile home toter. The first HDT. It sure is. That's cool. The first HDT. I mean, that's my guess. Maybe not that. There's old. a truck camper. Holiday. Your grandparents have one of those too. Holiday Rambler. Yeah, it wasn't that old though. It was like a seven. I don't know what year that one is, but theirs was newer. Oh, this is cool. Look at the camp chairs. Mm -hmm. This is what a 23 Ford, 33 Ford camp car. Okay, so this is just the other side of it. And uh, this is where you would come out, and outdoor kitchen, got a nice little awning. I really like the truck camper. Oh, it's a 69 Holiday Rambler truck camper. Yeah, the one grandma and grandpa, the one grandma and grandpa had were, um, was in the 70s, I think, or a 70s model. That's pretty awesome. I like this one. 29 covered wagon was the first production travel trailer in the US. I love these. The little Shasta, yeah. What well, grandma and grandpa had was bigger than this, but not those much. Are that are out that are a little cool. It's probably eight, right, 16 feet called? or something. Now this is really cool how they took an old Ford truck with a 390 and turned it into this. I mean, this is pretty cool. Huh. 69 Stites chassis mount truck camper. Oh, it's got a bench seat in the front. Look at the bed up there. It's got an old CB, bathroom. I assume there's kitchen back there, I can't see. Yeah, this see this is closer to what we had. Of course ours was That's a 68. Yeah, ours was 20 years newer, but it's the same so it might have even been a Jayco. My dad had that cooler. I think yeah. my dad had that cooler. Yeah, we had a cooler like that too, but it was red. I think it said Coca-Cola on it, I think. Yeah, this is almost exactly like the one we had except it's older and it's got a hard top. Ours was a tent top. Mm. That was fun. Well, we really enjoyed the RV Manufactured Home Hall of Fame and Museum. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, we've been here, we've been to, to this part of Indiana twice, but this is the first time we had a chance to go uh, to the museum. And pardon the noise, the freeway is literally right there behind us. But yeah, I thought it was pretty awesome. Some of the old campers are really cool. Yeah, I didn't um, know you that were that old. Yeah, and I saw a couple that reminded me of my childhood. My grandparents had a couple of the Shastas and a couple other ones when I was a kid. The history it's just so interesting yeah to see it all it's like from where it was till today it's pretty incredible yeah it's pretty amazing how far the rv industry's come in what 100 years or probably um, more than 100 years but know. 1918 30 or something yeah, yeah maybe. but anyway they're pretty cool things well if you guys make it to elkhart indiana you've got to come check out the rv museum and hall of fame and if you've already been here, like a lot of a lot of you guys have probably been here. Um, if you have, leave comments below and let us know what you liked about it. What was your favorite display? Or maybe they had some different stuff here when you were here. But uh, my favorite one, if I have to pick, was yeah. a little pink camper that looked like a Barbie house on the inside. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it was really cute. And I just really got a kick out of the Model Ts and the Model As. And I mean, just they were towing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that they were towing campers back then built mostly out of wood which you think would be super heavy did you guys catch the rv hauler that's in there yeah the rv hauler the very first hdt is what i'm calling it that's cool. so we're going to head back to the campground get some dinner again if you guys are in elkhart come check out the museum and until next time safe travels bye, bye.